Jason here and uh, today I'm on a ferry heading from Osaka to Fukuoka where I'm gonna be spending a few days and uh, from there I'm either gonna head towards Hiroshima or Nagasaki and plot twist ended up going to Hiroshima first the reason behind that I'll explain a bit later but the journey started in Osaka where I got on a monorail then as the last stop at Osaka port On my previous trip that was only one week ago to South Korea, I actually ended up taking the ferry from Fukuoka. So this is the first time I'm actually going to Osaka port and taking a ferry from there. I was actually really surprised on the gorgeous views just on the way to the port. I arrived there at around 6 o'clock and the ferry was scheduled to the park at 7.30 p.m. As I was making my way towards the ferry, I noticed this exquisite piece of art. I was also really surprised on how big the ferry is compared to the one that took me from Japan to South Korea. What surprised me even more is that on my previous trip from Japan to South Korea, I booked economy and I got a really comfy reclining window seat. But on this one, economy actually means a sleeper cabin. Honestly, I would have preferred a nice comfy seat just like on the previous one. And it was too late to switch from economy. But luckily I had this entire room all to myself, so it wasn't all bad. This ferry had a ton of vending machines, not just here, but also downstairs and also a small shop and a restaurant. For those of you wondering why I just didn't take the bullet train from Osaka to Hiroshima, it wasn't about cost or anything like that. This actually came out to be slightly more expensive than just getting the Shinkansen. But I think if you want to see more of a country and meet interesting people, taking a ferry feels more like an adventure and is way more enjoyable some snacks some uh, crisps or chips uh, protein bar some demon slayer tea that I was curious to try and some coke zero I also have a power outlet right here so I'm gonna charge my uh, power bank my tablet and my phone It's almost midnight and they announced that we're about to pass under a bridge. I don't recall exactly where. So I decided to go out on the deck and uh, see what it looked like. A lot of people came up on the deck to take pictures and videos of the bridge, although it wasn't really that impressive. But uh, after this, I decided to go back to my room and get some sleep. But then before I show you guys the bathroom. And uh, that's what the bathroom looks like. It has the Japanese uh, bidet toilet. And uh, over here, shower. Nice. It's currently 5.30 a.m. and I did manage to catch five hours of sleep. Unfortunately, I had to leave in a hurry to not miss the only shuttle bus that will take me from the ferry port to the city center. I arrived there at 6.30 a.m. and after checking Google Maps, I decided it's actually easier for me to go to Hiroshima first and more enjoyable. So I took a monorail and then a bus that would drop me off in Hiroshima at noon.
the modern ride was unfortunately only 30 minutes and I had two different buses to catch but I was actually curious where the last stop is because it did seem to go into the mountains This was the first bus I had to take that was going to take me to the outskirts of the city where the actual bus that's going to take me to Hiroshima is going to stop. As I arrived, the sun was rising behind the mountains and it started to get warmer. And I started making my way towards the bus stop that just so happens it's in the middle of nowhere. At this moment, I felt really glad I didn't just take the Shinkansen from Fukuoka to Hiroshima because although the price would have been probably around the same, I wouldn't have gotten to see this gorgeous landscape and the Japanese countryside. I think that's the, the bus stop. Kukuraminami interchange and this one's for Hiroshima so I have about 15 minutes to wait and yeah literally for those entire 15 minutes not a single car passed by It still shocks me on how precise the trains and buses are in Japan. The bus arrived exactly on time and I was the only person to get on. Although the bus has a toilet, it made a 20 minute stop and I decided to check the komini there and get some snacks. For those of you that don't know, Japanese people call convenience stores Combini, and that applies to 7-Eleven, Lawson's, and Family Mart. Although I ended up not buying anything inside, I decided to leave the footage for those of you wondering what a Japanese Combini looks like in the middle of nowhere. Also on this bus ride, I happened to make friends with a really friendly Japanese guy that was sitting behind me and spoke perfect English. At the time, I did think it's interesting that the guy is taller than me because I'm almost 6'2". But we exchanged contacts and he said next time he's in Osaka, we should grab a coffee. Turns out he's a really famous Japanese baseball player currently playing for an American team. I'm not gonna name drop him, but it was a really interesting experience. Also, I highly recommend this type of travel adapter to any traveler. I do recommend you get a decent one though, maybe around 20 US dollars. Um, not only do I use it as a travel adapter, but at the same time I'm charging my phone, I'm also charging on my tablet, my power bank, I connect my Chromecast to it, and all sorts of other stuff. Mm. I arrived in Hiroshima at noon, and the atomic bomb dome is only a five minute walk from the bus stop. It's an interesting feeling being here and seeing the Tami Bam Dome with your own eyes. 78 years ago, the Americans decided to drop the first ever Tami Bomb on a city and they chose Hiroshima. On the 6th of August, 1945, at 8.15 a.m., the Gate dropped the first ever Tami Bomb right above this building. When it detonated, every single person inside of the building died instantly along with 140,000 Japanese people living in Hiroshima. 
the Japanese government decided to leave this building in a constant state of decay as a monument and reminder to the destructive power of nuclear weapons. It's incredible how amazing Hiroshima looks 78 years after being completely destroyed. I genuinely believe that Hiroshima is one of the nicest cities in Japan and I highly recommend to anybody visiting to go there. Also, on an only 30 minute tram ride is Miyajima Island and it's the place where the famous Itsukushima battle took place almost 500 years ago and where the Sue and Mori armies fought each other and hundreds of samurais died on that beach and in those mountains and it's where I'm heading to next. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified when I upload the next video.